Morning, Mr. Colgan. Oh, hi. How you going? Good. Uh, you called? What seems to be the problem? Yeah, I think it's the um, uh, fuse box. Ah, uh, that way? That way, mate. Okay, yep. great. No, it's fine. Well, maybe it's the uh, wiring in the roof. Could be. <sighs> yep, just a new wire needed up here, it's all. Mm. So, everything's okay then? Oh, great. Oh, oh, you've blown a globe. Have I? Yeah, you want me to change it for you while I'm here? Sure. Okay. Who'd have the energy to respond to calls 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and at a competitive price? Oh. Who's in the box? Betty. Betty. Your wife. Oh. Well, I hope we're going to die in our sleep. Together. How many times have I told you, Mary? It's not going to happen unless we make it happen. But isn't that a sin, Ray? Not at our age. Where's a cup of tea, Mary? Wasn't it nice to see Joan and Coral? <sighs> no, it was not nice. John did another fall and broke a hip. It's not a bloody competition. Ah, oh, Pat, you're just having a bad day. Every day's a bad day. It's only going to get worse. I don't want to wake up one day in a bloody nursing home. Just because your brother's got dementia doesn't mean you will. Me? Me? You'll get it before I do. Me? Why? I specifically asked for coffee and you bought me tea. You do that sort of thing all the time. Next you'll be strolling the streets naked at two o'clock in the morning. It's very popular. One has to procure it in Mexico. Mexico? Mexico? People kill themselves all the time. They don't always go all the way to Mexico to do it. You can't bring it into the country. Hey, we'd have to get passports. Well, it's not for everyone. Here. What's this? They're the suicide bags. You can order them over the internet, but I've made ours with oven bags. Oven bags? What am I, a roast chook? Oh, Ray, this is the most romantic thing we've ever done together. You were quite right. Going together our way. Put it on. Go on, put it on. If your head's too big, I'm going to have to alter it. We can't risk a leak now, can we? I've got a funny feeling in my stomach. Oh, Ray. So do I. Well, I've cancelled the phone, the electricity, and the gas. I don't feel well. It's just nerves, dear. Now, I think the sideboard should go to Helen, not Jane. But perhaps Andrew would like it. What do you think, dear? You're not listening, Mary. I'm not well. We can't go. But I've called the cab. Well, cancel it then. I'm not well. Ray, we're going to kill ourselves. You don't have to be well. What about Vivian and Charles? Maybe you've got cancer? Oh, Mary. Well, what about my dementia running naked through the street? Don't be ridiculous. You haven't got dementia. But I want to go to Mexico. Well, Mary, it's not all about what you want. Oh. Who's fair? supplying electricity and gas to lots of Australians, including Glenn McGrath? G'day, Mr Colgan. Oh. Got one of these? Uh, no, thanks. Come in, come oh, in. Uh, better get back. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, yeah. Energy Australia. I don't believe it, Glenda Lake. Yeah, and they say he was wearing her dressing gown. Jim's too busy making money to do anything else. He just likes the idea of being MP. Yeah, but if you want to get something done, give it to the busy man, and he'll make the time to do it. Oh, what if old Mr. Potts didn't go to the park every day with his breadcrumbs to feed the pigeons? Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> we have a couple of thousand birds flying around looking for a new town to live in, and that's not such a little thing. <laughs> Ever. <laughs>